These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. <laughs> so here's my grandma's piano, and it's really untuned. It's been moved from house to house to house and traveled over two states. So it's pretty out of tune when you hear the C's. shot of the actual piano that was given to me by my grandmother or by my father and his family. It belonged to my grandmother and it is an Aerosonic Baldwin piano. Uh, uh, according to my research it's one of the better brands of pianos from the 1960s. Um, from the 1960s um, all the way to the 1800s, late 1800s. So this is a very quality computer. I mean, computer. This is a, this is a quality piano. Um, and I'm just really excited to make some improvements. So specific improvements that I'd like to make are just, you know, different things on the keys. Um, there's just some severe discoloration going on. Um, there's a key that is um, chipped. Um, my dad mentioned it might have been burned with ashes. I'm not too sure um, what kind, but I do would like to get this replaced, this key replaced. Um, there's chips. There's just a lot of uh, scratches, dents, um, you know, just kind of when you kind of glide your hand over certain parts, the veneer is kind of, you know, I don't know if it's, I'm pretty sure it's solid wood. Um, so I don't think it's veneer. I think the edges um, is veneer, and it's like wood veneer, like real wood veneer. Um, but there's just, you know, a lot of things that need to be done. There's holes that are visible here. There's, um, you know, the, the music holder that holds the music sheets. There's a little mesh board thing kind of going on, and it's very damaged. Look like it got pushed in, and there's holes. And, you know, eventually I definitely would like to restore this to its original state um, when Grandma bought it. And that's my purpose. Is, like, my purpose in this is that... Not only would I like it tuned and brought back to musical standards, but I'd like to look, you know, the aesthetics, I'd like it to look a little bit nicer. Um, I definitely think this could last another 60 years. I see no reason why not. It's beautiful, beautiful piano. And um, uh, when you look up Baldwin on the internet, it's no longer a company anymore. It's now defunct, and I'm pretty sure it's owned by Fender or... I can't remember the, the guitar brand. It's a pretty good guitar brand. I'm not sure if it's Fender. I'm pretty sure it's uh, something within that range of, you know, um, popularity and um, musical prowess, I guess. Um, but it's definitely um, a, one of the, the best. It's better than Yamaha. I'm, I'm sure it's a, it's one of the best uh, musical pieces you could own. Um, it's just now the company has kind of gone under because, uh, you know, pianos really, you know, um, have, have kind of hit a new level people want. Um, the electronic, you know, keyboards, and those are fine and dandy, but there really is a difference when you put your hands in, you know, if you, if you play the piano, there's a difference between a keyboard, you know, even if the keys are weighted, uh, there's just nothing like actually putting your hands on a real piano. And so, you know, definitely that art has been kind of lost over the, the years and generations. But um, I just wanted you all to see the very first, um, first take of the the piano and hopefully you'll be able to see the journey with me as I get it tuned and be able to play some songs for you, um, be able to show you um, the different improvements that are being made and eventually I would like to see, because it's, it's, uh, because it is wood, um, I would like to see if it's possible to get it restained, maybe even in a darker finish, something more modern, um, and then, you know, definitely replace this. Um, but I'm just really excited and I just want you all to see what is going on. I know we all have busy lives, but I'm very excited about this. So hopefully you can see what's going on.